The new simple table without a database feature is finally here. To visually group information and to direct the reader's eye to specific points. So now the existing table has been renamed as database table to distinguish it from the simple table. You can reorder the rows and the columns like in databases by dragging them using the six dots that are visible when the mouse hovers over them. The simple table strips out the database name, the filters and sorts, the table properties and the row at the bottom including things like calculations etc. If you've used Evernote or Microsoft Word, they have the same feature. The difference here is that you can convert a simple table to a database with just a few clicks. Table headers and columns can be formatted and so can cells using Notion's inbuilt text formatting features. In addition, you can add links, comments, emojis and at the rate commands to connect dates and people for example. Simple use cases for this is to structure your information or doing comparatives between different products. You can add or delete columns by a simple drag on the right hand side corner which makes this extremely easy to use or by clicking on the plus icon at the bottom or the side as the case may be. The two way arrows allows you to quickly make the table fit the page width which otherwise has to be done manually inside of the database table. So if there are any empty rows or columns it's easy to clean it up by the same method. The hyperlinks are clickable instead of the two clicks like in the case of a database table. If you want to convert any table information from another place like Excel or Google Sheet outside of Notion, it provides for a simple copy and paste and then you can convert this into a simple table to work on it very easily. You can't create a simple table as a column in a page just like that. It demands that it stays separate by default. The workaround is to create two text blocks and use the first one to create the simple table depending on whether you want it to be left aligned or right aligned and then make the adjustments. You can use simple tables to create a menu and link this up to other pages as part of your navigation. You can copy this block to create duplicates and then move the duplicate block to the pages so that you can navigate between them. In addition, simple table allows you to highlight so that you know exactly where you are from just inside the simple table menu. You can turn simple tables into databases. In this case, the first column becomes your typical name column. All the other columns turn into text properties. Your first column loses most formatting other than links. Notion memorizes if you decide to turn it back into a simple table. You can turn databases into simple tables if it does not contain any of the advanced properties or checkbox or files and media. When you turn a database into a simple table, the property names are assumed as column headers. If they do contain any of these advanced features, the ability to convert to a simple table just switches itself off. You can add simple tables into sync blocks, into a quote or a callout, a template block or even into database templates. There is a minimum width for a database property column but the width inside of the simple table is much smaller. So if you convert this from a simple table to a database table then the smaller width stays that way till you fiddle around with the column width. I wonder what Notion will come up with next. You can't merge some of the headers of the simple table like what you can do in Microsoft Word which is a limitation currently for the simple table. If you add comments in simple table, they will hang around visibly which looks ugly like this. In addition, if there's another table block, for example, they are suspended below it in a visible manner. It might be a bug, but it's one I recommend Notion fix quickly. If you want to carry out a sort that's available in databases, you simply can't do this inside of simple tables. There is one other way and that is to drag and drop manually. Filters don't get translated in simple tables. 
You can't select multiple cells in a simple table, only the table itself. But then again, you can convert this into a database, do all your modifications and convert it back as a workaround. Then again, there are no keyboard shortcuts to create simple rows or columns as additions in simple table. You have to use the mouse. I have a course that takes you from a blank page to an advanced intermediate user of Notion. This will take all the guesswork of how to use Notion out of the way. And it's very structured so that you can learn things step by step. I also have advanced templates that allow you to configure your goals, your tasks, your projects, your habits, your second brain, your finances, your diet, your time, and of course, your student life, all from within Notion. When I crafted these templates, I carefully considered all real world challenges Links are in the description below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.